found your new office. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> Come face. Yeah. yeah. Good morning, everybody. I'm back. She's back. Hi. How are you all doing? I feel like it has been ages since I last vlogged. It has actually been ages. I literally just went through my YouTube channel and watched the vlogs that were on it to check when I saw you last and what I'd showed you. And I was like, oh my God. I've got so much to tell you, this is mad. I haven't taken a week off vlogging now in a very, very long time. I think it was the start of when lockdown all began. That was when I last took a break because I wasn't very well, but I'm back and it feels so good. I actually had the most social week off, which I didn't plan on having. I wanted to be like alone with my thoughts and everyone else in my life had other plans and I just rolled with it and it was actually really, really lovely. At one point I was like, oh maybe i should just like lock myself away at home and just like be by myself but i didn't and it actually feels really really good to have like seen everybody and caught up socially distantly obviously but it was really nice i've done a lot of walking <laughs> a lot of walks and i feel really really good for it so yeah i'm back i have so much to catch you up on i think i'm going to start with what is next to me i was watching through the last vlog that you saw if you haven't seen it i will link it but i planted a lot of strawberry seeds tomatoes just to sort of like i'm just going to attempt to grow something to get the hang of this and see what it's all about and um <laughs> so i planted 11 pumpkin seeds because i was like surely not all of these <laughs> I know if you're an experienced gardener, I am going to sound like a moron and just let me live because I actually think that I learn best when I make mistakes. So planted 11 pumpkin seeds thinking, you know, well actually it was 10 and then I also planted an 11th like a week later. I planted 11 and I was like, we'll just see how this goes. Surely not all of them will grow. And I think that's if you actually take seeds out of like an actual pumpkin, like they're not all very likely to grow. However, actual like seeded seedling pumpkin seeds oh my god what was that noise? i actually think i'm under attack today it's very windy it's very very windy i keep hearing noises that i've never heard before but anyway i have 11 pumpkin babies yeah and i've actually i spent my week off trying to find someone to share my pumpkin babies with me which i have i'm very excited about it and i'm sure when the time comes you you will you'll figure out who has the pumpkin babies i will show you them now because i'm basically rearing them <laughs> until they're ready to go live outside which i think might not be that much longer and my friend might needs to hurry up and build me my veg patch because i'm scared i actually think i might have to have the veg patch built maybe like a little bit sooner than the rest of the garden being done which is going to be this month by the time you see this anyway i'm going to show you i have pumpkin children <laughs> I've swapped them all around a bit to try and give these ones more sunlight because they are I need to turn them I know I know I know guys before any pro gardeners shout at me I know I need to turn them yeah I'm trying to give some of them a bit more light because the ones that were like here were growing huge and then I had some little ones to the side so I've moved my bigger ones around a tiny bit but yeah hello welcome to pumpkin land we have my baby pumpkin is this one here you need to be turned around too and then this is actually a baby courgette which i'm so excited about because anyone that knows me will know i love courgettes so much i also love pumpkins not so much to eat them but i love them at halloween so if i can grow a pumpkin to be carved like i'm hoping each of these i will only let it grow like one and hopefully it'll grow quite big well actually i wouldn't mind mini pumpkins either that would be really cute but we'll see how i go <laughs> let's not get too ambitious yeah these are just a few of my pumpkin children we have some tomatoes growing over here we have my chili plant which i have harvested it's growing new flowers and yeah it's just got a couple of chilies left on it these literally are getting redder and redder by the hour it's actually crazy i just decided loads of mine went red i've cut a few green ones off but I thought I'd just leave those on there and see. Basically, I just couldn't bear to cut all of the chilies off, but I'm hoping we'll have some new chilies soon. Down here, we have more tomatoes, more pumpkin babies, and we also have some little strawberries in there. And I'm hoping, because I'm gonna keep everything in the greenhouse as much as possible, things will still be able to flourish a little bit. That might be really ambitious, I don't know, but we'll see. My orange tree is looking gorgeous. There are so many flowers on this. Is this okay to have this many flowers? Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up. But we have, we have a gorgeous little orange here. Another 
over here and yeah just so so many flowers and the leaves on this are looking really really healthy as well which i'm really happy with the garden next estate so i won't take you out there but my lemon tree has had like a little prune of just some like leaves that were a little bit dried up it's looking really really healthy and i went out there this morning and there's loads of new buds out there which i'm so so happy about my grape tree now has a bamboo stick which is like guiding it up because it was literally weighing itself down the grapes are getting so big so that is amazing i also repotted i can't remember if i said i repotted the lemon tree so it's now in a really lovely big pot much more stable i'm keeping it to the side of the greenhouse just because it covers it a bit makes it look a bit nicer but yeah i also took a couple of like straggly lemons off in hopes that it will help the bigger lemons we'll see my lime tree is looking gorgeous and my fig tree is also looking very very good as well so my garden my garden looks like a turd but it's flourishing nicely so yeah let's hope it stays like that because otherwise i'll be so sad and this is why i decided to keep the greenhouse <laughs> that is what the whole windowsill looks like right now so this was my chili harvest this is quite intense i read that you can freeze them so i'm going i'm definitely going to do that because i can't have this much chili especially not these ones these will blow my actual face off i already have had quite a few of these and me and ryan have used them when we're cooking and they will blow your actual face off i keep going to swear but i won't but that is how hot they are the green ones are not so hot and fiery so these ones are going to be slightly better i'm probably going to not freeze these but i will freeze all of my giant red chilies it's so cool there's so many like i can't i can't get over it i think my chili plant is still growing them as well which is amazing i also picked this up i'm going to use it on my lemon tree orange tree and lime tree hopefully it works for all of those oh yeah oranges lemons limes great yeah so excited to use this i'm really really hoping it will kind of just help the lemon tree especially along a little bit more the lime tree only has a couple of limes so it's kind of doing really well and same with the orange tree really but the lemon tree just looks like it's struggling a bit but like I said, I've repotted it and it's looking so much happier. So hopefully the combo of that and this will just make for a very happy lemon tree. Also, I'm so sorry if this gardening chat is not what you subscribed for, but it's just my little like thing that I'm loving at the moment. And you guys know how much I love Halloween and pumpkins and crap like that. So yeah, the, the growing of the pumpkins is both fascinating, a real learning curve, because obviously pumpkins grow to three meters long, which I should have kind of researched before I planted all the seeds. But do you know what? In hindsight, I'm not gonna be in told what to do and I probably would have done it anyway. So yeah, that's where we are. But my veg patch is going to be full of pumpkins and I'm actually really okay with that. I love pumpkins and it will be so funny. This is the kind of person I am. I'm not really taking any of this too seriously. So yeah, I will literally be the local pumpkin farm actually there's i think there's quite a few pumpkin farms around here but i will be adding to the pumpkin farming this autumn because i read if you actually plant i after i planted the pumpkin seeds i read if you planted them like mid-july they will be ready for halloween i'm so happy <laughs> that is just like my dream so yeah roll on mid-august for having my garden done i'm so so excited it's not gonna look like unreal don't get too excited but just for the veg patch and the greenhouse alone i'm just I'm buzzing. I've also just had a delivery from Monica Vinida, which I am super, super happy with. This arrived so quickly. Disclaimer, I bought this with my own money because it's for my mother, but that's because I love them as a brand and I spend my own money on them. So there we go. Random pointless disclaimer. It's my mum's birthday after this vlog goes up. So I can show you guys how gorgeous is that? Yeah. She's gonna love this, I'm super happy with it. I think I have bought her the necklace version in the past, so she loves having things that kind of like match up. So hopefully she loves this. Mum, if you're watching, I really hope you liked this. <laughs> it's so cute actually, really, really cute. Yeah, that has arrived this morning. These bracelets are great as well. Even the necklaces have this too, but the bracelets are great because my mum has really tiny wrists. We both have like abnormally small wrists, they're like children's size. So you can actually slide this little ball here up and down the chain and yeah, kind of personalize the bracelet to your wrist size. So that would be really great for her. It's just like a really practical design and I love that. Just need to wrap that now and get her a card and I'm ready to roll. But yeah, I thought I'd show you something else that I picked up. You will have seen this on Instagram if you follow my home account in particular, but ignore the mirror there. It's been there from, you will have seen it in the What I Wore in Weeks. So I need to gel my baby baby hairs wow look at this <laughs> this i don't think you will have seen because i think this was uh after i stopped blogging for my like time off purchase i'm basically going to take you through everything that i purchased whilst i wasn't blogging this 
giant thing is something that I was so, so excited to pick up. I got it from my favorite garden center, which is South Downs Nurseries, I believe. What was that accent? And that was weird. Anyway, it was a huge spendy purchase, but it looks so, so cool. This pillow, by the way, is not meant to be here. We just kind of use this when we have laptops and stuff and they're getting a bit warm. But yeah, I love the way the jug kind of like brings the gray of the sofa and kind of like blends it with the rest of the room. This mirror, like I said, is not normally meant to be here. I normally have a little basket down here as well, but I really like the way it ties in the kind of neutral tones in the room with the more natural kind of tones and textures over here. It all just works really nicely. And for a while I did feel like the sofa was really sticking out and I'm not like desperate to get a new sofa yet because this one is really comfy and I do love it. It is like, after having dogs, it is worse for wear. You can't change the fabric on it and you can't take it off. So it is very bobbly and it's just like, it's seen better days, but I didn't want to get a new sofa yet. And the jug is really helping to kind of tie the gray of the sofa in with the rest of the room, which is looking lovely. Apart from that plant, which is not doing so well. I need to tend to that one. Yeah, we also have a light, which is up. If you're OCD, it's slightly wonky and I know you're not going to love it, but I like it. It just works really nicely in here. It kind of ties in with everything. It's not the perfect, perfect light, but it wasn't too expensive and I'm very, very happy with it. It just fits the vibe really nicely. I didn't want to go for anything that was woven and really neat because I just felt like this room is just like a little bit undone. And I really like the fact that it's got, I'll show you. I really like the fact that it's got all of these like wispy bits that come off of it. I need to get a new bulb for it though. I want, I think like a clear one. If you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear your thoughts because I'm not going to replace it before this vlog goes up. So let me know. Yeah, the one thing I will say is that we did have to get a shade reducer so that it could be put up and we did, there was a little uh, kind of like that shape thing over the top and we just kind of bent that to the side and it works fine and you don't really notice because how often do you look at a light in this much detail? Like really? What I would like is for the drop to be longer so that it can kind of like, oh, are you okay? <laughs> I would like for the drop to be longer so that it hangs a bit more, but it's fine for now and it's just nice to have this room feel a bit more done. Where are you going? Hi, do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? She's just had a little haircut and she's looking lovely and smart and she smells incredible. She's very sad today because Ryan has gone off to work. Where are your toys? I can't go and get her pet food without buying her something else as well. What's this? <coughs> Sorry to anyone's dogs that I've just sent mad, but <coughs> go get it. No, nope, nothing, nothing. I also got her a pink uh, donut. She used to have the brown donut, but they've just started doing a pink one and I thought it was so cute. Is there a man in a van outside? She's not happy. If she thinks someone's out there, she is just not happy. Anyway, I love this guy. I think he fits the vibe of the room really, really nicely. Do you want this? Do you want Mr. Cactus? <laughs> You're so cute. Nala is a bit like that dog out of Gilmore Girls. Do you know that Jason has where it just kind of sits there and doesn't really do very much. And he's like a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. <laughs> that is you. Anyway, that is your Nala fix of the day. I'll go for a walk in a bit, yeah? I'm gonna have some lunch because I really like, I'm starving today. Sadly, there's no montage of me making my lunch today because we actually had a barbecue last night, hence this. And I decided to keep my leftovers. I've got these cute little Tupperware pots. I will link these if they're still available. I got them off Amazon, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna just eat my leftovers from last night. I'm trying to eat as like little processed food as I can, really, really trying because it seems to be helping my skin a little bit. But yeah, my skin is looking much better. I have my usual like time of the month, like hormonal. You can tell I'm bloated. Like I've mentioned in the vlogs this week, like I'm bloated. I just feel grim. I've got hormonal breakouts on my forehead. But yeah, it is looking much better. Like the consistency, consistency, like the texture of my skin, it is looking a lot better, but I've still just got that hormonal breakout. But I have definitely found that having less processed foods, I'll talk about it a bit more in depth because I think I might have hit the nail on the head of what it is. And it is basically like hormonal related. I feel like if you know, you will know. It's hormonal related, but food affects it. So yeah, I've been eating much less processed foods and like skipping on like the bread and it's maybe bread and trying to eat more like brown carbs, brown carbs. And it's definitely been helping the overall texture of my skin. I'll film a skin update at some point soon. I just want to give it a bit more time first. I feel like we were almost there. I'm like nailing it.
Good evening, everybody. I've had a surprisingly productive afternoon. Not the one I expected, but still really enjoyed it. I'm currently having a like protein smoothie because I don't actually feel like I've eaten enough today. I did a really intense workout this morning, which I haven't done since like before lockdown began. So I have my normal lunch that I'm used to having and it, it's a lunch based on like moderate activity levels basically so it's kind of got to five o'clock and i'm like okay i'm hoovering and i'm dizzy so i thought i'd just make something quickly because ryan and i are going to go do a food shop this evening so no one needs to shop when they're hangry or dizzy those are not good things i've also ended up hoovering well i hoovered the entire house because i ended up needing to hoover the kitchen again because i decided to repot my orange tree because it really needed doing this afternoon you know when you just see something you're like yeah that really needs doing like some of the roots from my orange tree were starting to like lift like they need a bit more soil above them so i've just sorted that out made a mess cleaned it up cleaned the whole house you know when you start doing one thing and it leads to another thing and then by that point you've like cleaned your entire house and done all your laundry which that beeping was my washing machine finishing so i'm gonna unload my dishwasher do my washing my clothesline i'll show you my clothesline my clothes hanger literally is like a true representation of my life right now. I just can't. I've also packed my things because I'm staying at Ryan's tonight, so I will bring you with me. This is one of my favorite smoothies I've made. I think I put more blueberries in it than usual, and there's no vegetables in it, so it's probably why I'm enjoying it a lot. So it's basically half a banana, because my bananas were going funny, almond milk, blueberries, protein powder a little bit of agave syrup and i think that is it basically it's all the sweet stuff but it will keep me going until dinner which i'm very much looking forward to i think we're having sausages and sweet jack potato mm. a visual representation of how my life feels on the inside do not panic guys i have ordered another one <laughs> I'm not leaving it like this. To be honest, I'm very surprised it has lasted this long because I think I've had it since the day I moved out. And that was seven, eight years. I don't even know how old I am anymore. I can't do the maths. I'm tired. It's 6 p.m. I need to put the camera down. So I'm just packing my stuff for Ryan's, literally just putting the last few bits in my bag. I thought I'd show you this. You might have seen this if you follow my TikTok. I don't know if I've showed it in any of the lockdown vlogs, but this is a little like bag organizer that I got off of Amazon. It's got all of these little compartments, which actually work quite nicely for various bits of skincare. And it works nicely as a bag organizer as well. But what I really started doing was throwing all of my like overnight bits in here. And because sometimes I'm like one night here, one night at Ryan's house, I literally take this out of my bag, pop it into my bathroom. In an ideal world, I'd have a much cuter version of this that kind of goes with my aesthetic, but practically, this is a dream. So literally like my retainers fit in these little compartments here, other bits of skincare kind of fit in these ones here. It's great, I really rate it, and I even have a compartment for sunglasses as well. So yeah, I'm gonna pop that in my bag. I thought I'd also show you what I picked up from Zara Home. Ryan and I did a little like trip to town. I will insert the footage now because I actually did vlog it on my week off. First day out, how you feeling? I don't know what's going on, this is all way too overwhelming. <laughs> We've forgotten how to drive in Brighton. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, in lockdown, Zara still has the longest queue in the world. But other than that, it's quite quiet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't think I've ever enjoyed a piece of cauliflower. So. <laughs> So yeah, that was my week off. That was all the footage I had, but we just had the nicest time. The restaurant we went to was called Olive Grove and it was incredible. Might be my favorite restaurant in Brighton. So you have to go if you come down because the food is amazing. But yeah, anyway, I picked up some bits from Zara Home. I don't think I actually vlogged Zara Home. I didn't get anything from actual, the lighting, God, that is awful. Why do I vlog from these angles? Like sometimes I look at other YouTubers and I'm like, oh my God, they just look so pretty and their skin looks amazing. And then I'm like, why don't I look like that? And then I realize it's because I vlog like this. Yeah. So that lighting is nice. Oh, brilliant. So anyway, yeah, I went to Zara Home. I didn't pick anything up from actual Zara, but I found loads of little baskets like this. And I really wanted to add more like 
almost like rattan baskets, not like, you know, there's different, there's different vibes of baskets. You've got like your country baskets and you know, yeah. So I wanted to go for like a lighter, um, less structured weave basically to add a little bit more softness and warmth to this bathroom because it is so, it's a beautiful bathroom, but it's so, such a gloomy color and it feels very cold at times, especially with this gray cabinet as well. If I were to do a bathroom, I wouldn't personally do it like this just because my mood is so affected by bright, airy spaces. Like I really love that vibe and this doesn't have a lot of that, but it's in terms of the structure, this bathroom is great. Like it fits so much in such a small space. They did a really, really great job with it. I especially love this here. Like when I vlog, you cannot see the toilet. Very rarely, like if I'm vlogging in that mirror, you cannot see the toilet. And I really, I rate that as a YouTuber, <laughs> just as a human being in general, but as a YouTuber, I really, really rate that. Another point, this bathroom is gloomy and I was like, Do you know what, I can add a lot more warmth to it by adding in more wood, because I have like a wood, woody tones, what should I say? More natural tones, because I have a wood door. So I added in this basket, which actually houses my bin inside layer. So my marble bin, you actually could take the marble shell off and then it was just a black bin on the inside it's basically just like a casing so yeah i popped it inside there and it's quite tall i actually did get another basket from zara home which was a much better fit for the bin but actually this worked really really nicely because it's taller so you actually don't see any of the bin really at all unless you're standing right above it and i really like that because it just really disguises the fact that it is a bin so yeah i'm really really enjoying that and it looks so nice and it just kind of softens the space a little bit so yeah i decided that i wanted to get more baskets and stuff i've got all of my um, my many many crowning bits in there they go on quite a quick rotation so i'm not too worried about them getting dusty but that is an issue i'll just move them in my cupboard and find something else to put in the basket but then i also have a basket which normally has all of my face halos in it but it's face wash day again not worried at all about those getting dusty because i literally use sometimes two every day if i've got lots and lots of breakouts on my skin and i don't want to transfer any bacteria it's literally like a very it's not a minimalistic way of doing skincare but if we've got a lot of gross breakouts on my face i will use two halos a day just to be extra cautious but i fly through those so i'm not particularly worried and half the time i'm barely here so this house doesn't actually get that dusty anymore which is great anyway so yeah basically all i do when i stay around is i lift my toothbrush and toothpaste into my little pouch and off I go. Oh yeah, Space NK bag. I've got I've got bits to show you because I went to Space NK. I don't think I vlogged that. Why am I filming my chest? I don't think I vlogged that, but I definitely did stories of it. So you might have seen it on Instagram. The issue of having a week off and not really posting, but still filming everything you do is you're like, have I posted that? Have I not? Oh yes, I remember now. So I also picked up this little basket. And like I said, I was hoping that it would go in the bathroom and be like my bathroom bin cover. But actually it works really nicely for Nala's toys. She does have more, they're just out. And I think that's everything I got from Zara Home. It feels like I got so much. I really feel like I was carrying so much around that bloody shop. I remember, <laughs> I remember the last thing that I did pick up. I literally was looking at it. I got this blanket from Zara Home, like I said, and it just works really nicely as like an additional blanket layer on my bed ideally i'm just gonna have lots of different textured blankets kind of across this bed i am slowly getting there with what i want to do with this because as you guys will know it's basically just like a very very old setup like i had these bedside tables and this bed in my two houses ago house the same with this mirror but i feel like i can just about make this mirror work with the vibe maybe I love this mirror so basically it's never it's never leaving me even if i have to store it for years until i have a new bedroom to put it in i will do that because i love this mirror i'm never letting it go before anyone dms me asking if i would like to sell it i'm not but yeah it's a very old setup i have and i'm definitely on the hunt for something new i have a few ideas i have a few different mood boards i haven't quite nailed it yet but i'm really excited to get there eventually i know lots of people say i should put something here the ceiling actually that space isn't that big and that would definitely with all of the stuff that would be far too much in this space and i like clear space i don't like to fill everything so like i have a big space of wall here and i don't plan on necessarily like filling every single space i think sometimes a bit of blank space in a wall kind of speaks for itself that's just my personal opinion but yeah so i i'm just kind of toying with a few different things but this kind of ties in nicely with the tone of the bed but also adds to the many many blankets and textures vibe that I wanted to go for so yeah and I just think this is a really nice 
easy color and I'll keep it for a really long time. So just a cute little purchase. Nothing particularly crazy went down in Zara home. I did buy, almost buy two more baskets though. They were like trays and I was like, yes, that's gonna be amazing for like storage inside stuff. And then they were like, no, we can't sell them to you because none of them have labels. And I was just like, yeah, that is my little round boy, but I'm gonna quickly show you what I got from Space NK. I was gonna show you tomorrow, but I might as well just show you now. So as you can see, there's a bit of a theme. You guys might have heard me talk about this range before. They do the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which is like in a green pot. I have a orange version of it, which basically smells like super, super coconutty and it's gorgeous. I can't remember if it's actually called the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, but basically it smells like coconuts and is gorgeous. I think it's coconuts anyway. But then I discovered the Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist, but they do it in hair and body fragrance as well. But I saw this like large size and I was like, yeah, I'm going to need that. So I knew I wanted to pick that up from Space and K, but then I also saw that they did a shampoo and conditioner and I was like, yeah, I need that in my life. I picked up the Brazilian is it Joa? I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna type it into Google and do the sound thingy because that's my favorite thing. They do the shampoo and conditioner and I'm so excited to use that. And then they also do the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. Anyway, I'm so excited to have this in the shower gel form as well. So like, I'm just gonna smell like a cute little coconut all the time and I'm so excited and also the packaging is just so cute and in my like grey little bathroom these are just gonna pop and it's gonna be so cute. So I picked those up and I'm so excited to use those so I will keep you updated on how I get on with them. Oh I also picked up another Olaplex. This is the number seven bonding oil. I love this oil. It is so great. This is empty because the oil came straight out and it's now my hair care stash because my hair needed the oil. I really, I can't wait to see my hairdresser this week. I then also picked up this Diptyque candle. I've never had this one before, but it smells gorgeous and I really also love the packaging. Oh, please, whilst I undo this. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, I didn't know it was gonna come like this. Oh my God, it smells unreal. So fresh, like really, really lovely and fresh. I'm not really sure what the notes are in it, but it's really gorgeous. It's a bit like florally, like a florally fresh. Oh, that is so cute. I've never had a dip tea candle come in a little pouch before. Oh, I love it. That is so cute. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with the packaging because it's just a neutral dream. So I think this could be a really nice one to have literally anywhere in your home. It's a really versatile scent. It could actually look really gorgeous. Even like... Here. I reckon in my living room as well, it could look really, really pretty, but I do already have a dip tea candle in there. So maybe here, so cute. I love it. And um, finally, I got a new Oskia Renaissance cleansing gel because it is my holy grail all time fave cleanse. I've been using this one from Rem. It's the Perfect Canvas Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. I now really do rate it. This is kind of halfway through, I would say. I'm gonna repurchase that when it runs out as well because that is amazing. Really, really nice on my skin. I have really combo skin, so these two are great for it. The Rem one, I would say, is slightly easier to wash off. So if your skin gets more dehydrated, I would say the Rem one is better because you're basically scrubbing your skin less to get the product off, causing less like disturbance to your skin and therefore it doesn't disrupt it and it will stay more hydrated and blah, blah, blah. But if your skin is a little bit more on the normal side, I kind of flip between, but this one, I just, I just love. So I use my oil cleanser to take off like heavy makeup and SPF and stuff. And then I use this as my second cleanse. Or if I've got no makeup on, then this is my just number one go-to cleanse. But to be honest, sometimes even if I've got no makeup on, I will do this twice. That's why I run out of it so much and I need to repurchase it all the damn time. So yeah, that's what I picked up from Space and K. That is it. It was a really great shopping experience, actually. It's like two at a time. I'll show my face when I talk to you. I feel like it's so weird if I'm just filming product and like you can just hear my voice. But yeah, so you go in and I think it's a limit of two and there's a one-way system. And obviously as of Friday, everyone is wearing masks. And I think in terms of testers, lots of things are out and you can still use them. But basically what you do is you, if you touch something, you just kind of like pop it in one place for them and then they'll like disinfect it all after so there's no like you go in and pick something up i wish the supermarket would do this with avocados because i swear to god they are the number one spreader of coronavirus because we all pick them up and squeeze them and in the brighton store there's an entrance and an exit like so you know if you've been there you'll know there are two doors anyway one that opens onto i think bartholomew street and then one that opens onto east street arcade god me and my 
road names. I'm actually quite good with them, but I haven't been into Brighton in so long that things are kind of like muddling in my brain. But yeah, that's the deal with that. Just in case you were wondering what like the shopping experience in Space NK is like. It's a much more controlled environment than say going into Zara or Topshop where nothing is disinfected after you've touched it. Like in the same way that I don't really know what they are doing specifically, but obviously like someone else can come and pick up a hanger that you've just picked up. Whereas in Space NK, literally everything you pick up is like disinfected after, which I liked. I really liked it. So yeah, apart from Zara Home and Zara, I think the only place I went into was Space NK and Space NK was definitely the most relaxed environment, which was really nice. Yeah, but I'm gonna tidy that up now and I'm gonna get ready to go and do a food shop. And I will see you guys when I'm at Ryan's, maybe. Ooh, mm. Chef Ryan at it again. Mmm, mm. veggie sausages and veggies. Mmm, nice addition of the corn on the cob, babe. Mmm. Right. I'm all tucked up in bed. Just been doing a Q&A on my home account. I've got my magazines. Just aged myself by about 10, 20 years. You know, good stuff. So that's gonna be it. For today's vlog. I don't know why I'm ending it like this. I should always end them in the morning because then at least I look cute. But I hope you will enjoy this vlog and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Goodbye. Do you want to say bye? Say bye. No, nothing. Bye. <laughs> Ryan shouting bye. <laughs>